All right, 2014 Mr. Olympia just wrapped up the finals flex. Phil Heath for Mr. Olympias. For Mr. Olympias, I mean, that's amazing. And also to have a 14 karat gold Mr. Olympia. For 18 the first, karat. Eight, 18 karat gold for the first time ever. That got to be more than the prize money. I mean, he should be on top of the world. Um, definitely, I think it was closer than he wanted it to be. He did change his physique up we talked about last night. He did do that, and it was good enough for the judges to give him the nod. Did you think that Kai was just as good as he was yesterday, or did, he, did you think that Kai came in a little off from where he was? What I do think and what I did notice is it seems like he wasn't able to pose as well. Um, when he did his most muscle, again, he would contract up, but he wouldn't contract his pec. So I think possibly by the way Kai was posing tonight, it possibly exceeded and gave Phil even a more open door because I don't think he posed that as pure potential. I think when Kai came out tonight, his posing routine was was I mean his posing yeah. it was great. His posing was he looked like the winner when he was doing his routine. When Phil came out, you can instantly saw that he was much better conditioned than yeah. he was yesterday. Yeah. He was fuller, you know. And Kai, when I looked at Kai, it looked like he had either no or not enough oil. That definitely yeah. on his chest and on yeah. his abs, which made it look like it was a little smooth. Agree, agree, agree. Definitely. I mean, you know, I mean, at this level of a show, you just can't have nothing out of line. I mean, an eyebrow or anything, especially when you're in a close fight and make it like that. So, I mean, unfortunately for him and unfortunately for the, the, the people backstage or whoever was helping it that didn't notice that because it's the Olympia, man. Sean Roden in third place. He came back to third place. He was fourth last year, switched with Dennis Wolf. Dennis Wolf came back, fourth place. Now, Dennis was, I think, way better than he was yesterday. Agreed. To me, Sean looked, I don't want to say he was worse, but he looked just about the same. Everybody else got better. Did you see it that way? I seen it the same way. Um, Sean, I don't think he got worse either. I think he was just the same. The problem was, is most of the guys, I'll probably say 90% of the guys were better today. So when you didn't exceed your condition from yesterday, it's going to make it look like you're worse. And definitely Dennis did that. So it was interesting that Sean got third place. But congratulations to him. I know you worked hard for it. I think so too. I think Dennis was in fourth place yesterday, but today I think the judges saw that he improved and his condition was way better. And they try to they, they're trying to put him back together and see if they can maybe flip flop him. But I think Sean stayed on top yeah. because it's his shape. I think he's just you know very very symmetric. His proportions, it's like you, a little smaller maybe than Flex Miller was back in the days. But he reminds me so much of you. It's unbelievable. What I, what I do appreciate about Sean and Dennis, they're posers. They are they are able to present their body in a full way, and I appreciate that. And I think the audience also should appreciate it also. That's what I enjoy when you have a great physique up there, like both uh, Dennis and uh, Sean, but they're also able to present their body as a professional on stage. I can't stand it when guys can't do that. Fifth place, our man Dexter Jackson. Dexter, they just can't get rid of him. No, definitely. I mean, you know, it's interesting. It's like, you know, what a guy got to do? But, you know, there's only – four places for four guys and if you got possibly five or six guys are going to fit in there then some are going to fall out of that but Dexter shouldn't hold his head down whatsoever after this, this many Olympics that he's competed in and for me to be arguably one of his best ever yeah. you, you have to be proud about that it has to be some sense of a personal uh, uh, achievement that you had now at the end of the day of course you want the nod but you have right. to be per, you know pr uh, proud about the work that you put together yeah I, I see it the same I think Dexter came back I mean uh, uh, he was just as good as he was last year but probably just a little bit bigger yeah and uh, um, it, it could have been fourth, you know what I mean? It's it just, I think it's the Olympia, it's a size game. He's still smaller than Dennis Definitely. and the other guys ahead of him. But there's nothing, there's, you know, he, he can be so proud of himself. Yeah. I told him backstage, I said, listen, I'm proud of you because you represent not only age, but he's the most consistent bodybuilder I've ever seen. Ever been on stage. I know before that was Sean Ray, what is competing, but I think Dexter definitely owns that title now, being one of the most consistent Mr. Olympias ever and competitors, period. Sixth place. Branch Warren. Branch came back almost out of nowhere. Every time when people write Branch off, he comes back and brings something that they didn't expect. You know what? True to what you said yesterday. You said Branch, he was the most improved person. That you were most impressed with him. He was dialed in, hard sharp. And I think that was the one reason why they gave that nod over Rami. Obviously, Rami with his size and everything is just it's mind boggling. I mean, I think even for a bodybuilder like myself and all the bodybuilders backstage from the old days, for us to see somebody and be impressed with him, especially coming from Ronnie's era, 
that's a pretty big improvement. That's a pretty big impression that he put on us. So, I mean, I, I think surely just because of uh, uh, the condition game that went on there was uh, the difference between those two places. Yeah, yeah. Branch was absolutely grainy yesterday. He was even fuller and more grainy today. And uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's it, you know, if you're what condition, then you got to put Branch in the mix. And and it's okay. Rami seventh place. He moved up from eight to seventh, which is already for a guy that's been training for only four years with the size that he has is already an achievement. He's moving up, so he's letting people know that he's not stopping. I can notice, definitely. I mean, I've said it from the first time I ever met the guy that he's going to be a future uh, Miss Olympia. Now, whether that happens or not, but he fully has the potential. Um, again, his fourth show ever, most of these guys competed in amateurs over, you know, maybe 100 shows. So this is his fourth show ever. So, I mean, right. the, the sky's just a limit for this guy. And, and like we were talking about yesterday with Jay, he literally could lose 15 pounds and still be outweighing everybody by at right. least 20 pounds on stage, and it looks it. So uh, I don't think he should hold his head at all. So he advanced. Um, everybody knows his potential, and it's just a matter of wait and see. And our other friend, Victor Martinez in eighth place. Victor came back from all the obstacles he had. I mean, I don't even know where to start or where to finish. That was an, a great Victor. I think, you know, it could have been, he could have, you know, Easily. could have been, been his highest sixth, yeah. you know. But what do you think about Vic? Yeah, definitely. I think Victor looked great. Like I said yesterday, I wasn't surprised whatsoever because I seen what Victor looked like towards the end of last year. And I know he's going to Spain next year, so I'm only looking for him to get better. Next week. Yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah. right. Next week. But next year, probably too. Yeah, but next week is sooner. You're right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Who have you have in ninth? Ninth place, Steve Kuklo. Steve Kuklo is another guy that, when I look at him, he has a pretty physique. He's a taller guy. All he needs to do, his condition was spot on. Yeah, just put All he needs to do is a little more meat, especially in the chest area. Maybe his back a little thicker, and this guy is going to do some damage in the future. Right. With his frame, obviously, he can carry easily 15 to 20 more pounds. Yes. I hope that he just does it in a slow rate, put on some true muscle. But his condition was spot on, and you should be very proud for his first ever Miss Olympia placing that eye, I mean, against his deep competition also. Rounding up the top 10, Juan Morel, first Olympia rookie, top 10. I mean, that's an achievement. I didn't make it. I didn't make top 10. I remember my first Olympia, I got 11th out of 13. So, <laughs> so for Juan, this is, for Juan, this is, I mean, I think he's the most happiest man right now. He came here, he got his feet wet and, and placed in the top 10. So. Awesome job. Uh, again, it gets some hard matchup. Last year he was a uh, rookie of the year. This year he comes and plays top 10 in his first Mr. Olympia. Yep. Again, another guy with a big frame who can put on a lot more size also. Right. So it, it's just a matter of time for these young guys. What's really impressive, Dennis, is to see some of these young guys coming with such potential. They're not there yet, but you can yep. see potential. So that's, that's great for the years to come for the sport of bodybuilding. And Juan, you can see, he's steady improving. He's coming bigger every year. And he competed at least four or five, four, five times this year. He started competing at the Arnold in Brazil in April, and he's been competing from New York to Toronto, all the way here to New York, and he nailed his condition again. Right. I mean, listen, as a professional, you make money competing. You don't right. make money sitting in your butt. So I, I looked at... Uh, he's put a nice uh, uh, checkbook in his, yeah, his pocket yeah. for the 2014, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he can pull out his uh, pocket for next year. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to next year already because I know there's going to be another battle. Yes. Phil and Kai, I don't know what's going to happen. And both of them opting out, none of them is doing the shows in Europe. Mm -hmm. We got Spain, we have uh, Dubai, we got a show in uh, Prague, San Marino, and Finland. And you're going to be at all and of them. And basically, all of them going to be in there but Phil and Kai. We got Sean Rode and Dennis Wolf, we got Rami in there, we got Victor Matisse is in there one more L it's going to be another battle. No, definitely. I mean, I, I, me, myself, if I was healthy and I felt good, man, I'd go and get that money. But I respect that. He's Mr. Olympia. What do you got to prove? Right. And also, I mean, you don't really want to go and do battle if you're not 100% with other guys because you never know what's going to happen. So best of luck to those guys. And we're going to have to wait till this year, next year to see what's going to happen between the two. That's right. And basically, we wait till next week and see another battle of the guys uh, in Spain. And I'll be there. What's next? The banquet. We're going to the gala. Me it's dead. coming up in about 10 minutes. We're going to get something to eat. So for Flex Online, this is Flex Wheeler. I'm Dennis James, and we are about to go eat. <laughs> Bye-bye.